Uh, hi, this is a, a review from Bathrobe, so, um, I said earlier in an introduction video that I was going to do reviews on DVDs, movies, comic books, and I thought I might start off with, uh, this little gem here, um, Invasion Earth. Um, this to me is not a very bad series, I hope more people will look at it now. Um, it takes place in the 90s, it's, it has a tie into World War One, World War Two, sorry, World War Two. Uh, the basic premise is during the Blitz of World War Two, uh, a V, a German V2 shoots down a UFO and it crashes in London. Uh, only one guy in the entire war department or whatever you want to call it, uh, thinks the occupant is an alien from another planet. Um, everybody else thinks he's uh, some kind of freak they pulled out of a, they pulled out of a, um, a concentration camp and shoved him into the rocket and see if people who can travel by rockets can land in Germany. It's, <clears throat> it's that kind of thing. Uh, great acting, great cast. It's a it was done by the BBC. I think there was some kind of, I think Sci-Fi, the Sci-Fi Channel might have had some kind of co-production because, uh, you know, they have one or two, they have one American actor in it, so, you know, either he went over there, but, um, he went over, he went over to the BBC and did it, or, yeah, so, uh, take, and then after the World War Two thing, it, um, some guy, uh, the guy who thought he was an alien ended up going into space, um, ended up traveling to a colony by these other aliens called Echoes, uh, which are very peace-loving, um, not really aggressive, but it turns out there's these other creatures called NDs, interdimensional creatures, uh, who want to harvest uh, life forms because they have biotechnology or their technology is based on you know where we would use stone and metal and, and concrete and various other building materials they use organic material so their buildings are made of bone uh, skin of the building is literally skin so they need a, a chemical in our brain uh, that runs their technology the ND so they try to harvest uh, first they tried to harvest the Echoes, and then they ended up, uh, the Echoes ended up killing themselves, uh, mass suicide, uh, across the stars. So now they have only us, and, uh, this movie is about how do we deal with the idea of an alien invasion when the invaders can just come from anywhere. Um, some people have equated this series with, uh, uh, the Quatermass experiments. I've seen the remake of that the TV movie that was done. I couldn't see the original because uh, they only recorded two episodes of that um, back in the 50s. It was a live series back in the 50s, the Quatermass Experience. Uh, they only recorded two. The rest of the five, the other three were lost. I guess somebody really forgot to hit record. Um, so that's lost uh, to the Airwaves. I don't know. Maybe some ship will go out in space fifty years, fifty, you know, fifty, sixty light years out, and hold up a satellite dish and pick up the radio signals from the BBC and record it. Actually, that would, actually, that would probably work. Uh, wait, no, no, it wouldn't. Uh, we'd have to travel faster than light to pick up the signals. Anyway, uh, uh, Futurama did something like that, where radio signals from Earth took. A thousand years to reach another planet, but it's the future realm. I'm just look it up. Um, yeah, so this, uh, what I like about it is the ending, and it is dark, and it is very, it's not the H.G. Wells ending to an invasion, let's put it that way. Uh, there is no 11th hour, whatever you want to call it, miracle, or you know. Deus Ex Machina coming in to, you know, rescue us. So, it is very good. It is very realistic. 
uh, in the character development. Uh, there are some good characters, there are not some good characters. It is very... It's just good. So I advise anybody who has a... who likes science fiction, who likes Invasion Classics, but doesn't want to see the War of the Worlds uh, independence kind of... Independence Day kind of science fiction, Invasion science fiction. The real, this is a good series. And this is my first review, so please do not be harsh. Do not say I, I will suck at this for a while. So please, for the love of God, be kind. Be very, very, very kind to me. I am trying not to kill myself laughing or trying not to... Whatever, um burst out laughing or do this. I normally do not do this kind of thing. Um, so I advise you to check it out. Look it up. I do not encourage downloading material via BitTorrent piracy. But if it is the only way to do it, then I do not encourage it. Let's just put it that way. I do not, I'm not encouraging people to illegally download stuff. Thank you.